Hi, my name is Kyle Taylor and I'm running for place seven on Irving City Council, a, petition, a position I have proudly held since 2016. For those of you who don't know me, I am a lifetime er resident of Irving. I was born here, I went to school here, and I have made Irving my home. I am currently the CEO of Irving Cares, a nonprofit dedicated to helping individuals and families break the cycle of poverty. I started at Irving Cares as a volunteer in 2002, joined as an employee in 2004, and was proudly named CEO in 2017. I've dedicated myself personally and professionally to making a difference in our community and helping residents and families thrive and succeed, which is why I wanted to serve on city council. I wanted to make a difference and better the lives of all families in Irving. I'm proud of the work that I've accomplished the last six years as a representative of the city's residences and businesses. In District 7, I've worked hard in champion drainage improvements, which ultimately removed 256 Irving homes out of the floodplain. Not only does this give peace of mind to the homeowners, but it provides for substantial savings on their home insurance. I've helped push through improvements to community parks, working collaboratively with our school district. Now A.S. Johnson and M.C. Lively have enhanced, have enhanced and better parks and provided safe play areas for our children and families. I'm very proud of our completing of the Levy Plaza project and our new Heritage Park. These will provide lots of opportunities for families to enjoy various programs and spend time together. We've passed a $560 million bond program to enhance all aspects of the city for the benefit of our residents and our businesses. We refinanced $248 million in existing bonds, saving the city and our taxpayers $82 million in interest payments. We created the Irving 360 program to help pull back the curtain on how the city operates, helping residents understand the inner workings of the city while developing future leaders for this city. We improved the safety of residents by opening a new fire station four and building the fire training center. I'm very proud of the work that I have done in creating and implementing several programs that help keep our first responders healthy both mentally and physically. In the face of COVID-19, we rose to the challenge, creating mass testing and vaccination sites. Because our city was financially sound, thanks to the many fiscally conservative measures we have taken, we didn't cut services. In fact, we leveraged our strong relationship at the state and federal level to receive unprecedented funding that we used to support our community. We distributed $50,000 grants to small businesses that were struggling. We created multiple programs to help both homeowners and renters with their bills to keep the lights on and stay in their homes. Where so many cities struggled, Irving came together to thrive. We added restaurants during COVID. Our sales tax revenues increased it, putting us in a positive financial position for the future. We actively continued recruiting new businesses to move to Irving or expand their operations here. It is so exciting as a council member and an Irving resident to see cranes on the horizon. We are unique in that 70% of our tax base is covered by our corporate, set, corporate group sector which helps reduce the burden of our residents. So it's very important we keep recruiting and retaining those businesses. We saw new homes built in all four corners of the city, from the south to the north and the east to the west. Specifically, my role within councils, I have served as the chair of the Community Services Committee, which is focused on transparency and communication with the residents. We wanna make sure that residents can see all aspects of their budget, so you know where your tax dollars are being spent. We are also focused on those quality of life initiatives, making sure that we have top libraries, great parks, and art and cultures that all of our residents can be proud of. I also serve as the council liaison to the Irving Convention and Visitors Bureau, which has had some of the most difficult years in its, in its 50 years existence. The ICVB and our Irving Convention Center are significant economic drivers for this city. Whether bringing in large conventions, with attendees who stay in our hotels and eat in our restaurants and buy stuff in our stores or hosting large-scale sporting events, the Convention and Visitors Bureau generates over $65 million in taxes, which reduces the tax burden of our residents nearly $800. These hotel taxes also support our Irving Arts Center, our Irving Archives and Museums, and our historic preservation efforts in South Irving. So working to make the, to make the Convention and Visitors Bureau whole was a huge priority for the quality of life during the pandemic. Thanks to the vision and hard work of our council and city staff, we were able to secure federal funds to help offset the losses at the Convention and Visitor Bureau and allow them to keep marketing the city, first to locals, promoting staycations, and to visitors who are starting to return to our great city. This added more employees to back to work again, so that was a great thing that we got accomplished. 
As I look ahead to the next three years, I'm excited to continue my work on city council. I think it's important to bring a common sense approach to council. I consider myself independent and fair-minded and I want what is best for all of Irving. I believe that it's critical as a council member to provide a voice for those to, who don't have one. To be successful in this position, you have to be able to devote the time necessary to the job. You need to do your homework. You need to understand the complexities of being the 11th largest city in Texas and the fifth largest in the Metroplex. You have to recognize and understand the needs and the wants of residents from Hunter Farrell to the hospital district to Valley Ranch and all points in between. You have to listen. You have to be accessible. You have to do your homework and you have to respond. I believe I have done that in my last six years on city council. I will continue to fight for neighborhood integrity. I will continue to fight to improving our quality of life and help the council effectively deal with growth in our city. With our ever increasing population, we're going to need to look at our charter. It's our city's constitution. It's the rules by which we're governed by. We need to strategically invest in our parks and other quality of life initiatives, as well as take care of our infrastructure, roads, bridges, sidewalks. We need to ensure that our first responders have all the tools necessary to provide a secure peace of mind for all residents. We need to continue to provide award-winning city services at an efficient and effective manner. With your vote, I will continue to dedicate my efforts to helping this city be the best that it can be. There are so many opportunities on the horizon, and while I treasure the history and heritage of this community, we need to make sure that we do not limit our, our progress and our growth for all residents. With your vote, I will continue to dedicate myself to improving the lives of families in Irving. I will continue to work hard to maintain the quality of our neighborhoods. I know that quality neighborhoods and quality opportunities lead to a thriving quality of life that leads to a thriving community. Thank you and please remember to get out and vote.